Hey guys, my name's Bailey and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. So today I just wanted to reflect on my holidays. Um, today is Kwanzaa, so if you celebrate Kwanzaa, joyous Kwanzaa to you. Um, it's also Boxing Day. If I was a little bit irresponsible with my money, I'd be going to Lush right now, but uh, I'm trying to be good this year, so I'm gonna go ahead and start practicing as though now is the new year, even though it's not. Um, but basically, I had a really good Christmas. Um, I hope that whatever holiday you celebrate was really wonderful for you as well. Um, I gave my nieces some American Girl dolls. I basically just wrapped them up like this. I had like a big tissue paper, like kind of around their face. Um, I just reused the same tissue paper that I literally wrapped it with, so it just kind of like looks not as perfect. But they absolutely love their dolls. They made little squeal noises when I handed them their dolls. I told them to walk out to the car with me and I have something in my car for them. Um, and they absolutely love them. Even the oldest one was like, okay, this is pretty cute. <laughs> um... So everyone was really, really happy with their dolls. Um, I spent all that time curling Lainey's hair on my live um, and a little bit after my live and my niece started brushing her hair. She's like, can I brush your hair? And I was like, yeah, you can. <laughs> because like, I feel like Sometimes kids aren't aware that they can do whatever they want. Like, I mean, some kids are genuinely um, a terror and <laughs> they'll just do anything. And that's kind of how I was. But some kids are like, you know, they need a little bit of permission. So, you know, but I just have Nellie and I took her with me. I posted some pictures on my AGIG. <laughs> I made an AGIG um, also. She looks so cute. They really liked her boots. But I made an AGIG and I posted some pictures of them on there because I figured that it was not like the best thing to post on YouTube, um, like children. <laughs> so um, my Instagram is in my channel description if I don't link it in the description of this video, which I should. Um, but yeah, I joined it a few days ago and I had a lot of fun setting it up. Um, I just picked like a photo shoot that I did earlier this summer to upload and then I posted the pictures of my nieces and their dolls and, um, yeah, my nieces were so crazy with their dolls. <laughs> I gave them a big bag of things. And as soon as they opened the things after their dolls, they <laughs> they were changing the shoes around, the clothes. They were like, when I get home, she's going to wear this. Can I sleep with her? Like, they were so happy with their dolls. And it was so sweet. I absolutely loved it. Um, so, yeah, I have a picture of that on my Instagram if you want to see it there. I'm definitely, um, if it dries up today, I'm going to go take some more photos. Yesterday on Christmas, my plan was to just go take AGIG photos. Like, that was going to be my Christmas plan. And then it rained. Um, all day. <laughs> it literally rained from, like, 3 a.m., like, all day. It's still wet outside, so who knows if I'll be able to get some photos, but maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Um, I just wanted to show you April's outfit also. I took her out of her holiday PJs and I dressed her. I wasn't sure how I would feel about it. I have my cat right here. Um, but I wasn't sure how I would feel about um, this outfit, but I just kept changing things out that I didn't really like. She's using her scratcher, just so you know. But, um, I wish I cut the tag off, but I just don't have scissors in my doll room all the time, so I didn't. Um, but I have the headband from the student council outfit. I have um, the cardigan from like the school days set, I think that's what it's actually called. 
She has little bracelets. She's, I don't know what this shirt is, but I got it with the Lainey doll I gave my niece. Um, I just kept it because it wasn't the outfit I was gonna give her. Um, I also gave her a Bucky pin. I don't know if you can see that, but we have Bucky's near us and I absolutely go there all the time and get their little veggie burritos. So I figured April might too, and she likes Bucky's like I do probably. So I just have a little scarf on her because you know, it's cold. And Lila's meat pants and those um, something navy, I don't know, whichever one they collaborated with, um, Janie and Jack, who knows? Honestly, I have no idea. I think that those two are like the same thing. I. I learned recently that one of the collaborations was like a brand that you find on Saks Fifth Avenue. Who goes there? I went there one time to see Santa because it was bougie Santa. But who goes there? So maybe that's where these brands are because I have no idea. I've never heard of any of the brands that they collaborate with. I just really like how the clothes fit the dolls because they fit like really well. Um. But yeah, so I really like these shoes. It's like a chunky glitter. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that necessarily, but I like it. My cat's getting interested in my area. It's okay. This is my little scared cat that I talked about in one of my videos on how my doll helps me. She's always really scared and just wants to get out of conflict, even though there's absolutely no conflict going on. She's so cute. You wanna get down? Okay. Yeah. She's so cute. Um, her name's Trix, just so you know, like the cereal. <laughs> um, I thought that she was a boy, so I thought that was like a really quirky name for her. Um, but she's a girl, so it still works, it's okay. But yeah, so I organized my doll closet. I have it like pretty organized right now. I'm very happy with it. Um, I still have shoes and other crap in this one. This one is just always the predecessor to getting put in the big storage. <laughs> um, there's like junk all in this one too. Um, hopefully one day I can get my nieces over here and they can pick through some stuff and then I'll be like, no, not that. Oh, not that one either. Here, take this. <laughs> but I just have my shimmering silver stuff here. Um, I got my boy clothes right here, just like separated. Let me fix this so it doesn't bother y'all. And then... I have my earrings. I like to put them in jewelry boxes just because everything's so small. But I have my earrings. Oh yeah, her earrings are also, she's just wearing the shimmering silver earrings because she's fabulous. And I thought they would look good with her shoes, like sparkles. Um, I got some clothes boxes that I just use for random stuff. And then, this used to hold all of my dog clothes, but then I branched out and as you can see, I'm now overflowing this one slightly, but this one is like shirts and hats, that kind of thing. And then this one is like outfit sets that I've put together and pants. <laughs> and then I have all of my hang up clothes that I just don't want to put, oh, this one's not Velcroed. Let me Velcro it real quick. This one looks so yellow in my ring light, like in me, like my own um, personal vision, but it's such a lovely dress. I love all those silhouettes from like the early 2000s. I think that they just had such beautiful silhouettes in their clothing. Um, but yeah, so 
this year I'm just trying to be like this upcoming year I'm trying to be really good and intentional with my hobby um, what I choose to bring in what I choose to not buy I have a doll I want right now um, I'm gonna wait two weeks before I buy her we'll see if she's still there she's just a doll on eBay so we'll see if she's still there and if not it wasn't meant to be but I like look at my collection and half the time I'm like, oh, I only have seven dolls. Hmm. And then sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I have seven dolls. Like, how am I supposed to dress all of them? But I actually love dressing them one at a time. That's like my personal favorite method. I always see people like dressing all their dolls at one time and I definitely can't do that. I'll dress like two of my dolls at one time and they usually end up looking really similar. Um, but yeah, so this is April and I really love her outfit. I like how she can just make the outfits work. Like, I just throw random stuff on her and she looks like a casual fashionista just like walking to the store. She just looks so cute. I want to get more purses. Um, I also don't know if I want to get more clothes. I think I want to get like outfits that I really wanted as a kid. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how I want to add dolls into my collection because I also want to create your own. I could do that for Christmas, but I'm just trying to plan it out because I feel like I reward myself for not doing that much. I feel like I spend my money in the wrong places and, you know, it's not always a bad thing. It's just something that if it bothers you, um, maybe you can analyze and learn from. Um, but yeah, I just want to be more intentional and um, happy with all the things that I bring in because a lot of the stuff that I use, like just, it ends up in here and I love it. I love that I own it and I can't wait to use it when I have a big dollhouse. Um, but that's also another thing I want to save up for a big dollhouse this year. Like I want to turn this closet into a dollhouse so that way I have my own prominent section of me and my husband's hobby room like um I filmed my all of my doll collection my entire doll collection my last video that I actually uploaded I did a live which was really fun I might do one again um but I did it in my entire doll collection and I did it in my husband's setup so I don't have a setup I did his first because I knew like what <laughs> to do for his setup but I just haven't done mine yet um now I know what to do for it so it's just a matter of transforming and obtaining and I can't really do that when I'm buying these beautiful dolls so I'm thinking just getting them for my birthday and Christmas this year so maybe just two big hauls or spends from American Girl whether I get dolls or whether I get things that I want um, uh, like also I'm planning on going to the American Girl store in Ohio in January and there might be something I can buy there. Who knows? Um, and then I'm also going in March to the Nashville location. So I'll also have opportunities to buy for myself that aren't birthday and Christmas. So I'm definitely blessed in those ways and I'm not missing out, um, on enjoying my hobby and I plan on being in the American Girl hobby for like a really long time so like I'm I'm still having fun with it I still love my dolls I love doing hairstyles on them um I think I'm getting like pretty good at hairstyles I'm not trying to float my own boat but I just take my time and use a toothbrush and they end up looking really good um but yeah Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope you had a wonderful holiday and I hope you have a fantastic new year and I will see you in the new year. Thank you. Bye-bye.